Whew. Anyway, we down here on another beaver job. We're cleaning out a culvert. Well, these beavers done come up in here and just dammed it all up. Now my water is dang near up to my midsection. But anyway, I just want to show you real quick. Kind of, we're gonna put a trap in front of this culvert right here. Like I said, they had this culvert all dammed up. We're gonna see if we can't get that level. Water's coming in here, the beaver's coming here dammed up. We're gonna take this. I'm gonna see. Ooh, we're gonna put it right there. And they come up here, boom. We'll chain it down there and uh, see if we can't catch them. Y'all stay with us. As you can see, or maybe not can see, we got a beaver right in here. I'm gonna see if I can't pull him out. Uh, pull a little bit for you. There, Harlow. We got him on that chain. Usually when you got him on that chain, you know it's kind of... Uh. <laughs> Man, that belt pulled him out. He coming. He hung up in there. Let me get him knocked in the head and we'll pull him out here for you. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, we got the beaver. It had a little difficult to get him out, but I had to get Harlow over here to get in here. So I got him on a chain, and usually I got this chain far enough. Yesterday the water was deep over where Harlow was when I, when I busted this dam. And I couldn't get my drown, I mean my uh, stake down over there like I wanted to usually. So when they get on that chain, they get caught and they'll stay out here and stuff like that. This beaver actually got down in the drain. Of course, he's caught by the back foot. Look at that Duke 650 right there on the back. Good catch. You see that good, Harlow? Yes, sir. Good catch. Held him. Uh, so the beaver got down in there. I had to, so we just cut the video, and let Harlow come over here. And as I pulled the chain, he kept it tight. I get him close enough to where I could take the 22 and uh, pop him in the head and get him. So we only had one set here yesterday. Uh, just mainly coming here to get this water down here. And now we can start working our way up on the dam set. And we'll show you that. So any which way, we got a good healthy beaver. Big bone and wide tail. Just like I like him. Y'all stick with me and Harlow. We're going to learn you something, buddy. Come on. <laughs> All right. Harlow's going to get him out. Got him out. Show him that beaver, man. Show us that beaver meat. <laughs> oh, that's what's up right there. One more time, in case I want to screenshot it. <laughs> beaver meat. Anyway, we're going to get this trap reset real quick, and I'll show you how to uh, get it back in there. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to take this one more time, see if we can't get it started. All right, dude, I'll take my knee and hold it down right there. Now... I set it up high like that right there to begin with. And then uh, and I'll adjust it. You hear the thing flip. It kind of held level a little bit. Yesterday I got my underwear wet yesterday, Harlow. Put it in here. But we're gonna go on and reset this one here because when we bust them down, more water's gonna come down and they're gonna wanna pack this up again. So uh, we'll just stick this right back down in here. And uh, it's set. Let's go do some work, boy. <coughs> so I moved the chains. You can see I got a chain right here. I moved the chain over here. I got it on this uh, pipe set anchor, whatever. It just makes it easier uh, to get in there. Like I said, that, it'll get caught. And he can't get as far up in that, up in that culvert this time. So, and uh, that way we can won't have such a hard time pulling him back out a little bit, but that's just little ways. I love the chains because we, we, we walked in here uh, 300 yards or so. There's chains on traps. It's just it's just a lot less uh, weight when you're trying to walk in. So, anyway, we'll just steadily put them together for y'all to see. Get back to work. Jumped in the middle of this video. Look at him. We down here at Rick's Furniture in Starkville, Mississippi. Y'all don't forget if you're looking for a great deal, a great furniture, y'all come down here and see Michelle Keenan or Rick Underwood himself. Rick's Furniture, Starkville, Mississippi. Y'all come on down. <laughs> All right, so me and Harlow 
car moved up the, up the ditch a little bit. See, you've seen the car set over there. We're actually gonna put this old Connor bear in here. There we go. Got to take the safety latches off this thing. And what I'm going to do is put it... Uh, he's going to come. Make sure that's down. He's going to come right here. And uh, what I feel like anyway. So we'll make sure... Yes, sir. We'll make sure. Yeah. Put him in right there. He'll come in. This old trap a little rusty. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll take some of these old sticks right here and see if we can't keep it in place. What this does is keep that thing so when they hit them trip wires in there, it'll the whole trap won't move. A little bit of a bust. And it don't have to be, uh, as I say, perfectly level. And we caught, like I said, we caught one this morning. Oh. Oh. I'm now. You got to die. This will be our dive stick. They'll come over, come swimming up through there. Harley, you can kind of show them what they're going to be kind of swimming through. You can kind of see right here is they'll come back. They'll be swimming, kind of go over that little bit of log and then go dive stick under this one. And this whole trap will be here, so. A little windy. windy. Yeah, a little windy. So hopefully when they hit that, it'll, uh, it'll. Uh, throw me one down in the middle right here just to keep it, keep it here so when they do get caught. That's it. That's all we need. Need a beaver now. All right, so what we got is we got the hut right there. As you can see, Harley, you want to show them just a little bit of that hut top right there. Uh, usually I don't trap this close to the hut, but uh, to begin with, but we're going to do it. You can kind of see the water went down, so you, you can see where they come in right here and uh, come out to the water. And uh, I'm using another chain set, but I chained it on the opposite side. That way you can't get all up in this hut. And I'm just going to put this right here, which I'm going to find me a good spot. Those sticks and stuff, so I just want to make sure those sticks ain't in there. Turn that thing, lock it in. And what I'll do is I'll take it and uh, brush it kind of to where they'll uh, want to just ease back out here into this spot. There's a little caster right there, but anyway, they're coming in right here, they're gonna get caught and be caught any which way. A lot of people ask me all the time about the chain sets, and I'm just showing y'all how I catch them with chains. There's many ways to do it. But I'm teaching y'all the chain sets. Sean Phillips showed me, and I just love it. So anyway, oh, it's right here, Harlow. We'll show them our next set. It's kind of gonna show. We're gonna be on this dam set right here. Um, we'll knock a little water out here. Is this water moving? So hopefully we'll set. We're gonna set one here. We got one there. Kind of bear, and it's cold. Keep knocking heads. Right? Mm. So Harlow's trying to get us some water running. And you don't have to get it too wide, just enough to for the trap to be in front of it. You know, it's not a uh, we're not releasing all the water off this property at the time. So uh, just pull it back, get that water running, and we like I said, we're gonna set a trap about right there and uh, stake it down chain, and hopefully we'll just have a whole family of them in the morning. It's a good job. And what you do right here is you got it going. So let's just cut a small ditch right there in the middle. Just, yeah, just right there in the middle, and, and then the water will do the rest. All you got to do is cut a ditch about the, well, I gave you one job. One job. <laughs> you can take the stick down and you still use the rake, or I will. But uh, anyway, we're just going to cut a small ditch right there in the middle, and then the water will cut the rest, and it won't be a problem. Uh, hey, give him all the tools, and he break the toes. Well, you saw it breaking <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> All right, Harley's gonna set one down there for you. you Kinda see the way he put it in there. 
Seat it, seat it tight. Yep, that's good. Just as long as it, yeah. There you go. And uh, what that does is he, he also put the pan to where if any sticks and stuff is coming to this dam, don't get up under the pan. And that's the reason we have it the way, way you put it in there. And uh, anyway, we're going to stake it down real quick. Hey, that's a little cool, ain't it? <laughs> he, put that, he put his hand in that cold water. Oh, anyway, you can see it. We'll see y'all tomorrow. So I've been working a little bit over here on this beaver dam. I got a beaver dam. As you can see, it's right here. I got it running. I done put me a trap right there. Of course, you've seen me chain it down. I got it chained down right over here. Uh, chains right there, and it's driven down. That's just an extra pipe set. But anyway, got the trap set. Got the beaver slews running. I got a trap there, and I got a trap on this beaver dam. Uh, if you go around this edge right here, right over there. So, got two, three spots right here. Uh, and just moved up this way. Got the water running. Hopefully, we're going to have something here in the morning. God, I love trapping. Ain't nothing bad. All right, guys. I wanted to show you something real quick. I don't know if you can see real good, but anyway, all this is flooded now again with the rain we got. Before we started busting dams, as you can see, all this in here was flooded. See the timber that died and has fallen. Matter of fact, we were down here a while ago. Trees were just falling out with this wind. Whew, I'm sorry I've been coming up, up this creek. But anyway, a lot of times beavers, that's what they do. They come in here. I don't know their purpose. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. They help the wetlands for the ducks, stuff like that. I can understand, but they're just destructive on what they do as well. So... A lot of people say, why don't you relocate them? Why would you relocate a beaver that did this to one property? Why would you take it to another property to let it do it there? So, any which way, I hope that gives y'all a little, a little knowledge. This is why I'm here, saving timber. And, uh, I don't give out, I'm winning. <laughs> anyway, just wanna give y'all a little insight on what I'm doing here. Well, we got a lot of rain last night. As you can see, a lot of water standing here. Can't really walk good. I was gonna show you, Looks like I got a beaver right there caught in that set right there. Oh, pretty good. This is where I actually broke the dam at. So you can see he's caught there. It's a little, little, look at that. Oh yeah, good there. All right, well, let me take care of him and I'll be right back with you guys. videographer's boots just wouldn't quite make it to the deep water so anyway we got the second beaver out i felt like there's only a pair in here uh considering they wouldn't rebuild a whole lot in here but in which way we finally got that dam set broke we got a lot of rain last night and uh anywho another beaver down so let's go check out these couple more traps and then we gotta get out of here it's cold ain't it? <laughs> well we back uh up at the camp we're done this will conclude the end of our uh trap line here we will run just a few more days just to make sure uh but i'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be it so y'all stay tuned and be ready for the next video of whatever we got going in, on in our world so y'all see it another flat tail down big bone and wide tail just like i like them any which way y'all have a good day god bless and as always jesus loves you <laughs>